What is up guys, Julius here and today I'll be showing you this insane looking invert video transition. And fair warning, there will be flashing lights. Let's take a look at the effect. So I'm here in my premiere, where I prepared a clip of a guy dancing. Very cool and a clip of a girl dancing. Very nice. So the first thing you want to do is go to where your clips meet and then you want to go over here into your project. Right click, new item, a adjustment layer, like so. And apply that to your clip. And then you want to hold down shift and press the left arrow five times. One, two, three, four, five. And drag your adjustment layer out so. And go back to your middle clip and go 25 frames to the right. One, two, three, four, five, like so. Next up, you want to go over here into your effects and you want to search for an effect called invert. It is under video effects channel and then invert and apply that to your clip, like so. Or to your adjustment layer, my bad. And then you want to go to the start of your adjustment layer so and now we're gonna keyframe it so I think the channel we're gonna use we're gonna use lightness and then you want to keyframe this blend with original and then you want to go one frame and every time you want to change the blend with original from 0 to 100 like so so I will just fast forward this okay we're done let's take a look at the uh, effect right now And it already looks pretty cool. But just to make sure there's no smooth transitions, I'm gonna mark all of them and change it to hold. And this basically means there will be no animation from like 0 to 100 and it will just go up abruptly from 0 to 100. And I don't think you can see any difference here. But what you might notice is that the cut between these two is quite obvious. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to search for an effect called transform like so and apply that to your adjustment layer and then go five frames to the left by holding down shift and pressing the left arrow key once. Nice and what we want to transform here is the position and the scale. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go three, three three frames forward like so one two three and i will change the position to something like 1272 and 439 so it's going into the top right corner and then i will maybe go one two three four five six something like that then i am going to change the position to something like 783 and 608 so it is in the left bottom corner and then I'm going to go one, two, three frames, maybe four. And then I'm going to put it back to 960 and 540 like so. Let's just take a look. But now we get these black edges. How do you get rid of that? Well, this is why we keyframe the scale. You want to go to where your clips meet, like here. And you want to transform the scale to something like 130. And then you want to go to where your transition ends, like so, and, trans and put the scale back to 100. Very nice. And let's just maybe change the time interpolation to something like this here or something like that. Uh, no. I think this one we're going to do ease out. This one ease in. Ease out and ease in and do the same down here. Ease in, ease out, and this one we're gonna do base here. So let's see the curve. Yeah. Let's just check that there's no black edges. Let me just toggle off the invert real quick. Nice. So this is the transition without the invert. Like that. This is with the invert on. 
So now it's a lot more like subtle hidden. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here into our video effects, video effects, immersive video, and we're gonna apply this big called chromatic aberrations. And this is normally used for VR videos, but I think it will work fine here. So in the middle where the clips join, we want to keyframe aberration red and aberration blue or whatever you want. And then go to where your previous shape transition start and change these to zero. Like so, and go to where it ends again and change them to zero. Very nice. The two first ones we want to put ease out. Two last ones we want to put ease in. And this middle one we want to do base zero. Something like that. I like that. And uh, last thing, just to really sell the effect or if you're doing a music video or something. So what you can do is, I think this effect is so insane that you also need some insane music. So what I've chosen to do here is just uh, use the song called Laura Less Haunted. And at the drop, it goes really, really insane. I have to turn this down a little bit. I'm just going to match the uh, adjustment layer up with the drop. Give me a second. All right, let's take a look at the final product. Well, that was all I had for this tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. But anyways, click subscribe, click the like button. Also, please drop a comment. Let me know which type of effects you want to see in the future. But anyways, see you guys. Bye.